Despite the huge variation in structure and function, all our cells contain the same DNA sequence. The reason is that different cells use or express only certain genes. DNA can be tagged by tiny chemicals that modify gene expression. One of these epigenetic modifications is DNA methylation. Promoter DNA methylation is associated with gene silencing and plays an important role in maintaining cell types. In cancer, DNA methylation patterns are altered and disrupted. DNA methylation is carried out by a group of enzymes known as DNA methyltransferases, or DNMT for short. We have three major types, DNMT1, DNMT3A, and DNMT3B. Let's have a closer look at how they work. Here we are looking at an early embryonic cell, and we are pulling out its DNA, which are wrapped around histone octamers known as nucleosomes. Following fertilization, DNMT3A and DNMT3B are responsible for de novo methylation, allowing embryonic cells to differentiate into a cell type. So for example, this embryonic cell has become a distinct cell type, a skin cell. DNMT1 is responsible for the maintenance of DNA methylation following differentiation, and is active during cell division thereafter. The methylation patterns of each cell type is different, and this reflects the gene expression pattern of the cell. So in this case, we have one skin cell becoming many skin cells. This cell type has a unique methylation pattern, and therefore expresses certain genes. Cytosine guanine sites, or CPG sites for short, are found all over our DNA. For example, here we have a CPG island containing many CPG sites. In a normal adult cell, most CPG sites are methylated, except in promoter CPG islands. These CPG sites are typically unmethylated. Promoter regions are regions in the DNA that contain regulatory elements that control transcription of genes. To understand how CPG sites are methylated, let us zoom into the cytosine nucleotide here and look at its chemical structure. DNMT3A and DNMT3B are responsible for DNA methylation in early development. DNMT obtains the methyl group from a molecule called SAM. The methyl group is added here, forming 5-methyl cytosine. It is thought that DNMT flips the cytosine base pair 180 degrees out of the strand like so. Then, the DNMT enzyme obtains the methyl group from SAM and transfers it to the cytosine. Finally, the methylated cytosine is flipped back. Human TET, which stands for human 1011 translocation, is another important enzyme that has a role in regulating DNA methylation patterns. TET is responsible for adding a hydroxyl group, initially to 5-methylcytosine, forming 5-hydroxymethylcytosine. The TET enzyme is also able to convert 5-hydroxymethylcytosine back to cytosine through several pathways. Therefore, the TET enzymes are thought to be responsible for DNA demethylation. In a normal cell, the two opposing processes of methylation and demethylation are tightly regulated in development. However, in cancer, this balance is potentially disrupted, and as a consequence, DNA methylation patterns change. Typically, in cancer cells, we see hypermethylation of promoter CPG islands, and this is associated with tumor suppressor gene inactivation. In contrast to the focal regions of hypermethylation, cancer DNA also undergoes widespread hypomethylation across the entire genome. This bimodal deregulation of the epigenetic landscape is found in every type of human tumor. Critically, 
we can now use the alteration in the methylation pattern to help us detect cancer cells from normal cells.